I went into uh, a prison in Nashville last August, and uh, I went in and he actually let me out, so uh, <laughs> I was hoping they'd do that. It's kind of scary. Uh, so I played for 300 inmates there. Uh, my friend Jordan invited me to do it, and uh, Jordan was my roommate around, uh, around 2008 or so in East Nashville, and he was diagnosed with melanoma cancer and given a 5% chance to live, so uh, it was looking pretty, pretty bad there for a while, but he took more doses of this particular form of experimental uh, chemo than had ever been recorded in history at that time, and he miraculously survived. And, uh, and, um, he formed this organization called You Inspire, and uh, he does stuff now, uh, just really cool things, and some of the stuff he does is like invite guys like me to go into prisons and sing. <laughs> So I couldn't really say no when he asked me, even though I didn't want to do it. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, the albums John Cash, Lot of Folsom Prison, and, uh, but I didn't think it was going to be anything like that. I thought, those days are over. Whatever genre of music these guys are listening to, it's not mine. <laughs> They're going to kick my ass and tell me out of and, um, So I just tried really hard to you know, get along with them and uh, play the dogs <laughs> there for them. And it's like, I've been to jail before. One time I got pulled over in L.A. one time. I was trying to, I was trying to you know, get some street cred with them. And uh, it kind of worked, though, because the warden had asked me not to sing this a couple words in this particular song called Never Again. There were a couple four-letter words in the beginning, and uh, I guess there's not supposed to be any profanity on bringing musician to jail day. Um, <laughs> it's a spiritual program, and they just want to keep it clean, so. But I was looking out there thinking, man, these guys are doing seven and nine, and uh, they're all in here for a lot worse than saying a couple four-letter words, so I think they can handle it. And, uh, plus, I thought there's 300 of them and one warden, so again, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and sing it, go for the street cred, and make a friend with these guys. The security's not looking too good in here either, so if there's a riot, I want to be on their side. <laughs> so I sang him this song never again, and my friend Jordan recorded the whole thing, and we released an EP called Griffin House Live from Prison. Uh, it's got, if you look for it uh, on iTunes, it's got half of my face and half of one of the prisoners, so it looks like this messed up Nashville jail Braveheart or something. So, uh, it's called Never Again. Am I gonna give my heart over to a bullshit cause? I've had enough of lies in the dark. Never again. Am I gonna waste my time on a bullshit road? It's never been a friend of mine. Simple. Around. And it 